Good evening, everyone. Welcome to UK Pun Off number 25. My name's Ian McDonald. I'll be your producer for this evening. But as it's number 25, we have the silver man of comedy going to be taking you through this evening's proceedings. Mr. Love de Barpega. <laughs> How are we doing, man? Hey, thank you, Ian. Our silver anniversary. It's that silver. Is it the 25th one? Is the silver anniversary? 25th is silver, yeah. Oh, but wow. we've got some gold done tonight, haven't we? Yes, yes, definitely. Yeah, I mean, you couldn't get that right more than enough. Why not have the silver comedian doing the 25th show? Uh, yeah. thanks, Ian. We'll see you in a bit. Hi, guys, welcome. It is UK Pun Off Show 25. We've been going 25 weeks. Can you believe that? And guess what? Last week's show, 24, we had 250 live views. And in the space of a week, that's gone up to 65K. 65K views. I can't believe it. This show's amazing. Proper is. Uh, how is everyone? I hope you're all good out there. If you can, uh, send the link out to your friends and family. Get them to tune in as well because we have a fabulous lineup. Oh, yes, we got some great comedians. One of them won one of the previous shows, so I will welcome him back in a minute. But first of all, let's get our one, one and wonderful Rob Thomas in. Here we go. Here That's my is. motivational Rob slogan. Thomas. I'll just put that down in front of me here. Reminds me what we're here for. Hi, Love Dev. Hi, Rob. Uh, your mum says hello as well. Hiya, mum. Yeah, mum's amazing. Uh, I mean, I didn't know her PC could handle 65,000 tabs, but obviously it can. <laughs> I Thanks, mum. For... <laughs> she spent Definitely. about three grand on that PC. Thanks, mum. <laughs> Good to have you watching. Oh, looks. Oh, we got some issues on Periscope, by the way, guys. I've just had that in in the uh, Periscope issues. If you try, if you uh, obviously you probably can't be able to see this, but. Get onto Facebook, get onto YouTube. <laughs> to all you people on Periscope. <laughs> Steve um, Thomas says hi to your mum. All right, Stevie, does. nice one. Oh, yeah. Rob, how's your week been? You had a good week? Uh, it's been a good week life-wise. A bit weird um, news-wise, though. All the kind of like lockdown, are we, aren't we? Local lockdown again in Bradford, where I live. Protests in Trafalgar Square. Masks, no masks. Anti-vax. If you don't like vax, just get a Dyson. <laughs> uh, and all that you know stuff what? about it might be our topics for next week oh gosh yeah I better keep quiet and that stuff about all Jedward next week. Uh, Jedward taking on Ian Brown on social media about masks <laughs> you see that one um, fool's scold was the best I could come up with for that one here we go here we go Tony hello to you as well and Ian I'll just send you a message um, okay so we're going to bring on the next pun start to the show yeah. It's one of our favourites. It's obviously our wonderful Julian Lee. Hey. hey. How we doing, peeps? How we doing? Not too bad, not too bad. How are you, Julian? Yeah, not too bad, not too bad. Had a good, uh, fairly good week. I mean, we're in local restrictions, have been since last, since uh, Friday, I think. Yeah. But um, I, know, I know Rob's a serious runner. Rob's a serious runner. <laughs> but I'm quite, I, I've just started running again recently in a, uh, I've done 20 miles this week, so I'm pretty chuffed. Oh, is, uh, yeah, bear in mind, six months ago, I couldn't run for more than two minutes without basically having to stop. So I'm pretty chuffed with that this week. Well, that's done. amazing, well, mate. What do you do? 200 meters, 11 times a day. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, did a, I did a seven miler on Wednesday. Oh, mate. And, uh, so I've done 20 miles all together this week. So I'm pretty chuffed. Yeah, I'm, I'm following you on Strava, mate. It's, it's really good. <laughs> Joking aside, well played. Well played, Junior. Yeah. I mean, I'm still slow, but you know, I'm getting. <laughs> it's about fitness, mate. It's about knocking, adding another ten years to your life. That's what you're doing. That's true. That's true. I mean, I'm trying to do it. We'll see. Anyway, uh, hello to Lisa, Lisa Allen. That's uh, uh, a friend of mine. So hi to Lisa for tuning in, and Jessica Roberts. Hi, Jessica. Who will be on the show soon. Uh, Jessica's all the way in the United States. So hello to you. Right, we've got two guests as usual this week. Um, first of all, this guy, since the last time he's on, he's got himself a job. Got himself a job in Waitrose, and apparently he's just finished down in Peterborough. Uh, let's hope luck is on this on the side of him this time because he won the last show he did. So uh, here he is. It is our David Locke. Really? Oh, oh, there he is, David. Yeah, he's back. It's back. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
The only smart dressed sorry. man on an online comedy show, Mr. <laughs> David Luck. Yeah, sorry about that. I just I just got uh, confused because you know you can like invert the camera and stuff like <laughs> <laughs> easily done. Easily done, yep. He's always watching his back. Right, our final guest for today's show is probably one of my favorite people in the comedy industry. Um, he's such a lovely guy, and it's a pleasure to have him on again. It is Tony Cowards. Hey. Hey, hey, Tony. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey. Hey, hang on, I've, ju I've just been down the shops, so let me just take my mask off. <laughs> you know yeah. what? That gives me an idea. For what, yeah. If we did the Halloween show, I think we'd all have to wear masks. Mm. That would be brilliant. <laughs> I should have saved that for the uh, backstage chat. But anyway, <laughs> uh, this is show 25. So just before we start, I'll explain the rules of those of you who have never seen the show before. There are six rounds of topics which have been chosen by you guys and the comedians down below. So there'll be three rounds per topic, and then at the end I will say vote now, and then you put down who okay. you think is the best punster on that round. Clear? Okay, cheers, lads. Right then. Can't get the staff. Okay, I'm going to start with Rob, Julian, down to David, and finish with Tony. So I don't have one of those paper things that everyone else <laughs> just going to tell us. I just I don't have a pen and paper, and I can't spell. <laughs> so it's just easier for me to change the green screen. Are you guys ready for the first topic of the night? Do it. Can't wait. Come yes. on. Yes. Come on. Show us that image. He has them. Come on. Basic right, problem. I'm going to have to wake you guys up a little bit, and that's going to have to be the topic, Heavy Rock. Hey, heavy Rock, just to wake the guys up. Right then, Rob Thomas, your first Heavy Rock one, please, mate. So uh, I'm, uh, I'm dyslexic, so I was scared of ACDC. They gave me the EGBGs. <laughs> <laughs> The I don't know if I said that right. The EBGBs, that's what I meant. EBGBs, yeah, I got it, mate. Probably the only rock pun I'm going to get, to be honest. Right then, over to Julian. Um, if John Bon Jovi had been born 100 years earlier, he'd have been living on a prairie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got that. I'm not, I'm not a rock person, but I did get that one. So, all right, well done, Julian. Let's go down to Mr. Luck. Yeah, so uh, my dad said, this band, why do all their songs sound the same? I said, well, they're called Status Quo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was waiting for you to finish then. No, that's the end. <laughs> Is that the end? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, sorry. No, 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 no. I have no idea about status QO, QO whoever it is. <laughs> that's, that's, that's become apparent, yeah. I'm glad I'm not doing tonight's topic. <laughs> 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 nice one, David. Thank you. Um, right, over to Tony. Well, you guys may not know this, but um, before doing stand-up comedy, I actually used to be the DJ at Stonehenge, although I no longer mix in those circles. <laughs> <laughs> That's yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. good. And there's a nod to heavy rock there as well. That's yeah, a beauty, that's that, that Tony. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot going on there. There's, there's a lot two, going on. Levels, two levels. Two yeah. layers, two jokes in one. one. Yeah, good joke, that. you know what I mean. Okay, <laughs> that was round one. Let's go over to round two of high heavy rock. rock. Uh, so I live in Bradford now, uh, and I'm a big fan of West Yorkshire's best heavy metal band. That's Otley Crew. <laughs> <laughs> Nice, nice, nice. Very good. Have you seen the movie, the Motley Crue movie? No, I haven't actually. Oh, it's very good. It's on Netflix. I can't remember what's it called now. I can't remember. Very good film. Uh, okay, Julian. Um, well, Robert Plant, Nan, is uh, <laughs> has just moved to Exeter, and she's uh, she's thinking of purchasing something from Stana. Yes, she's buying a <laughs> stair lift. In <laughs> <laughs> uh, better singing there from our Julian. 
Nice. What, uh, have you got anything down there, David? Any any songs? Uh, no? well, okay, <laughs> do your pun. <laughs> Go, David. Well, what I, what, I, what I can tell you is uh, I went to a football club and all the way through the match, they played nothing but heavy rock music. I had a lot of fun at ACDC Milan. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, very good. Okay, Tony. Well, I've, I've got a bit of advice. If we've got any guitarists out there who uh, want to know how to make their instruments sound a lot better, stay tuned. We Hey, nice. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow, that was it. Round two. Maybe we were guitar up. joke. Guitar joke. Don't fret. Hey, he's still throwing them out. Look at that. He's on a roll. He's proper on the hey. There's a guitar, funny enough, behind our uh, David. Look there. You can see. Wait, have we got drums yeah. going? We've got it all going on on this show. <laughs> the good ones. Yeah, the good ones. <laughs> okay, guys, it's your time to impress the viewers. It's the last round of heavy rock puns. Back to you, Rob. Let's do it. So, uh, I don't know if you do remember, guys, when uh, half of the cast of the 1980s kids TV show, Rainbow. They joined Guns N' Roses. It was amazing. And they wrote two new songs, Welcome to the Bungle <laughs> and uh, Paradise Zippy. <laughs> yeah. Paradise Zippy, June. I was listening June. to that. Right. Yeah, like that. special. Proper tune. Right, nice one, Rob. I really yeah. like that. Okay, Julian. Um. As some of you may know, the the Bible for heavy heavy rock fans is Kerrang magazine. Well, the best the best game to play to cut up Kerrang magazine is rock paper scissors. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Scissors is a rock band, isn't it? No, no, no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't need it. It's all right. Okay. I'm not explaining it. I'm not explaining it. <laughs> fine. Yeah. You, fine. Let the others, you let the others explain it. That's how it works. And yeah, then you just, lose none of the shit. Never explain. Never explain. Julian fighting the power. Fine. You see, if it was Bangra music, <laughs> uh, <laughs> topic or grime <laughs> or hip hop, then I probably would have got it. Well, okay. It does not matter as long as you guys got it out there, the viewers. David Luck. So, uh, since the singer. Ian Watkins was convicted of sex offences. <laughs> the band he was in has definitely lost profits. <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, nice. Yeah, I'd, you all, I'd, you all, I'd you all worried then, didn't I? So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, David, funny guy. All right, Tony, your last rock one, mate. Well, I, I had a bit of a disaster before tonight's show because uh, my girlfriend actually broke my rare copy of one of uh, Nirvana's most famous albums. Never mind. <laughs> uh, nice. I nice. Like that one. <laughs> very good. Very good. Thank you, Tony. That was a wonderful round. I really enjoyed that round. Yes. Thank you, Ian. It is time for you guys to vote now. So all you have to do is put down the person's name who you think deserved that round. Let's bring back in our lovely Ian McDonald. Hey guys, loving that round. Absolutely loved that joke, Julian. Rock, paper, and scissors. Yeah. Bro, I was giggling away. <laughs> yeah, maybe else was, but I was. But I've certainly been giggling with all the jokes that you guys have been sending in. Um, let's start off with one from Craig Stainrod. I tried to sell Limmy a blue car. He said, no. I want my motor red. Oh, yeah. Motor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Nice work, Craig. I don't know yeah. if everyone knows this, but Lemmy's surname was actually Atom. Do you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Rory Jones has um, uh, got in touch. Uh, I stayed in a hotel with the lead singer of a famous band, and I wasn't allowed to get up until after Axl Rose. <laughs> 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 oh, good, good. Yeah. So remember, send in what you th or vote who you think has won that round, whether it be Julian, Rob, Tony, or David. Um, and of course, send in your your puns as well. Best pun of the night wins a car. Yes, it does. Um, oh, 
Sorry, Mark Mark Wilson, how, how do you find out how heavy a red pepper is? Give it away, give it away, boy. Do <laughs> <laughs> um, you mean chili pepper? Um, chili yeah, pepper. yeah, that would have, yeah. <laughs> Was from Ian Are we Gordon, workshopping Rob- audience <laughs> joke? <laughs> no, just judging. There's no back and forth. Silent, not silently judging. Yeah. But Ian Bowden has said a rock group were, was unable to flag down a taxi cab because they were van hailing. Wee. Yeah. Wee. yeah. I like that one anyway. Um, Thank so, you. Yeah, get your Thank vote you. Uh, yeah, I think we, we do have a winner. A winner, a winner, a winner, a winner. A winner. A winner. It all has a winner. We have a winner. <laughs> yeah, we all have a winner. There is only one winner in that round, and he won by one. Very close, next to Tony Cowards. This man's only going to take took it again. It's Julian. Ooh, I've just, rem- I've just remembered oh. my white snake joke as well. <laughs> Uncle, right. uncle, guys, thank you for that. Thank you for sending in your jokes. Also, if you can, can you send in some donations, please? <laughs> we had so many views last week, not one penny was donated. What is yeah. wrong with you guys? <laughs> Just a pound, one pound. What, what, what is one pound? All you gotta do is click on the link, one pound sent straight, done job over. Give us your money. Give us your money. <laughs> There's only a few people who are sending in money, and I don't expect them to give us money every week. So, yeah, I mean, sorry to get a bit angry, but I'm like, it's Christmas soon, hey. and we've got to pay these guys down here. Yeah. <laughs> and we've got to pay for this service. Just if tell them British Then the show's over, basically. That's the end of the show. Right. Is everyone... <laughs> is everybody ready? Here we go. Right. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> Um, okay, the next topic I think we're gonna go for is the Far East. Mm. <laughs> we didn't know the Far East. We're talking about where to be easier. No, we want the whole of the Far East, all of it. It doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so I think we'll start with the winner of the last round, which is Julian Lee, and then down to David, Tony, and finish with Rob. So, Julian, your first Far East pun, please, mate. Right, this is a long one, so I'll have to read it so the gaps are on. <laughs> uh, of all of all the Asian cities, I thought Vietnam's capital's attitude to housework was the most annoying, but <laughs> Kuala Lumpur's was even Malaysia. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I think Julian just took that whole round there with that one first joke. Yeah, yeah. Let's just one. vote now. And, yeah, yeah right. he's done it, mate. Should we just move on to the next topic? No, uh, let's carry on with the show. Right, David. Right, apologies. You guys and anyone watching who doesn't like this, but I've got one that's a bit dark and i'm just going to do it now just to get it done with okay <laughs> um so if one of the hairy bikers were to pass away do you reckon he'd be buried in saigon oh <laughs> 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 uh, I, lo- I love your the way you just tell your jokes david <laughs> love it Great stage projects, mate. Brilliant. Okay, <laughs> loving these already. Tony. Well, I, t- I told my dad the other day that I didn't know who to take with me to Burma. He said, Myanmar. I said, no, I can't. I've only got one ticket. <laughs> <laughs> hey. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, Rob, no pressure. Uh, no pressure felt. Um, I threw up the other day. I was sick. I threw up uh, and I hadn't drunk any alcohol. It was after eating Japanese food. Yeah, it was yakking sober. <laughs> <laughs> oh, great. That was a great first round for the Far East. Hope you guys are sending in your donations as we speak. Okay, uh, Julian, back to you, my friend. Right. The gaps are on again. Sorry. Right. My mate's mother used to work in Hanoi. And she used to cure sick animals in the back of a punto. She was a Fiat mom vet. 
<laughs> Vietnam vet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> okay, David. So uh, recently I visited an ancient, rainy Indian city, and you could tell it was old because it was grey at the temples. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. I love David. I love the way your tone of voice doesn't give us a clue as to when the end is. Oh yeah, that's all true. brilliant. <laughs> Thanks very much. Cheers. It's absolutely brilliant. Yeah, yeah. I just like to wear my heart on my sleeve, you know. So. <laughs> great. Okay, Tony Coward's your second Far East well, moment. I actually, uh, in my twenties, I travelled all around the Far East and had a great time. But I did make a terrible mistake in a Korean restaurant when I asked for a doggy bag. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I've got tears on my eyes. Okay, Rob. Uh, I, I, I was a failure at. I, tr I tried busking in a far eastern country. Uh, I was a poor singer when I was in Singapore. <laughs> he sings a poor. Okay. There we go. That uh, we got one more round of this. Yeah, we have. We, oh, have. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. we haven't. No, there is one more round. Um, let's see what they've got, Julian. Uh, if you have an accident in the capital city of Cambodia, you're entitled to non-pensation. <laughs> no, nice. that's great because we we don't know where it is, but you've told us, so we know it's non <laughs> Wikipedia, that's where you put yeah. Wikipedia. And don't need it. You, you told us. You told Wikipedia us. It. Okay, there we go. Thank you, Ian. <laughs> Wikipedia it. Right, David. So, personally, in my experience, the only country I've visited that had any kind of soul was South Korea. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh my gosh. You said salt on you. Great job, though, mate. Brilliant. Okay, Tony. Here you go. Uh, how'd you get on a Japanese bus? Nippon. Nippon. Okay, Rob. Yeah, uh, I'm going to start a fusion restaurant, which is going to mix Jamaican and Japanese cuisine. I'm going to call it Wagwan Mamas. Wagwan Mamas. <laughs> Wagwan Mamas. <laughs> no, I don't <laughs> like the Redmond jokes. Love Dev, like that one. Mate, <laughs> really I'm going to send you a car sticker for that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just trying to help you out, Dev, after actually. the heavy rock stuff. Do you know what I mean? Just trying to hit you with something culturally. Contextually <laughs> relevant. Wagwa mamas, I love that. <laughs> uh, yes, I Ian. forgot to mention the car sticker joke winner. So from the show, uh, Ian will pick a winner which he thinks deserves a car sticker. A UK pun off car sticker. I know. No, right no. then, let's get him back in. While he reads out your jokes, it is time for you to vote now. So put down the person's name who you think won the Far East round. Rob. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, get your votes in. There have been some great jokes coming in from you guys as always. Craig Steenrod. I bought a pair of shoes from the Far East, but only had one lace, so I could only tie one. Hey. <laughs> naughty, Dave naughty. Thompson. Loved that Tom Hanks film where he ran around all the Pacific Islands. Far East Gump. Far East Gump, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Far East Gump, Jessica very close. Robert, I love my sister's work with animals. She has great hands for koalas lumbar. Massaging <laughs> <laughs> those cute little bad boys. Jessica lovely. is trying to be a guest on this show. So I'm looking forward to her being on. Thank you, Jess. Right, yeah, I'm not reading that one out. And <laughs> another one from Steve. Another one from Steve Thompson. As I started to drown in one of China's major <laughs> rivers, I dice fell out in my pocket. <laughs> All landed on the seabed, each scoring a six. <laughs> All ahead of me here, it was the Yahtzee River. Hey. Loving it. Loving Amazing. It. Loving it. Um, 
One more. Uh, I think we'll go one more, Eamon. Good fellow. I went to Thailand. He asked if I visited the capital. Bangkok, I replied. He said, oh, do that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, lost it. Oh, yeah. Well done. Thank Fantastic. you. One night Thank only, you. that joke. One night only. So it One looks night. like the votes have all come in, and the person who I'll mention has actually won that round. It's, it's been a while. It's oh, been a while. Hey. Phuket. Hard one, Mamo. <laughs> right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna write on my tablecloth in celebration. <laughs> Well, is, it, is, it his mum? is it his mum that's doing all the voting? Probably. Uh, no, she hasn't voted yet. But I know she will put down, well done, Rob. No, no, she voted for Julian. She voted no, for Julian. No, There's no bias she, there. Oh, yeah, she did. Yeah. You traitor, mother. Yeah. Right then. <laughs> you traitor. <laughs> you tra <laughs> bit harsh. Oh, I've really enjoyed this. This has been so good. Shall we do a lick, little quick video, Ian? Why not? Fun. There we go. That That's was class. Scarface. And he said, say hello to my little friend. This, nice. my friends, Gee. is a UK pun-off mug. Ooh. Julian's got one as well. Mine's slightly different and cheaper. So nice. if you think you want one of these mugs, <laughs> if you do want one of these mugs, then send in a donation of £7.50. That is nothing. £7.50. Right, Dan, that is for the UK pun off mug. If you do have any change which you want to donate to us, we'll take that as well. So, yeah, put that in and we'll get one sent out to you. Look at that. I love it. I hey, love that. After the Scarface clip, you could use that for Al Pacino's brother, Cap. We Man's on fire. Okay, yes, don't forget to donate and put down if you want a mug or not. Right, then, we're going to start round three. Of the UK pun off. Let's see what the next topic is. It's gonna have to be. Star Wars. Star Trek. Great. <laughs> Star Trek. We'll do that next week, Tony. Yeah, we've done the wrong thing. <laughs> Star Wars. Right then. I know Rob did win the last round, but I'm not gonna let him first this time i'm gonna go down below and start with david tony up to rob and finish with julian okay the first star wars pun for the night mr david luck so uh the first time i watched star wars i thought it was about ingredients in foreign imitations of chocolate a long time ago in a galaxy far <laughs> far away <laughs> 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 Strong, very good. Oh David. no, I missed out the word historical because a long time ago. Sorry, never mind. Sorry. It's, it's okay, mate. It's it's okay. Nice. Got it. Brilliant. <laughs> yeah, you got to cover every aspect, David. Everything. Yeah, yeah be sorry. Good. Yeah, I'm yeah, not slacking. Well, you know, live and learn. It's yeah. cool. You can kind of improve. It's because I didn't write that in my notes. That's the reason. Yeah. So, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, we'll let you off this one time. Yeah. Okay, Great. thank Tony. you. <laughs> well, what what did Mister T? Say to a Tatooine crime boss, quit your jibber jabber. <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. Yeah. Quit your jibber jabber. <laughs> quit your jibber jabber. Quit your jibber I can't do it. That's brilliant. Tony. Quit your jibber jabber. <laughs> it's my new Mate, you can do that all night. I'll just keep laughing. Yeah, you say it nine more times, Tony. <laughs> quit, your, quit your jibber jabber. <laughs> I've done that every one now on this round. <laughs> Some little the guy in the corner shop, that one. <laughs> it's like a Mr. T, isn't it? I'm, I'm no good at, I'm no good at, I'm no good at, oh, I'm no good at oh, acting for your impersonations. Yeah, to the woman who asked me if I could impersonate Sylvester Stallone the other day, and I said, I'll be back. I just have to apologise to her for giving her the wrong impression. <laughs> <laughs> there is man full of jokes. Okay, Rob Thomas. 
Well, are we? Star Wars. Oh, yeah. Wars, so I don't know yeah. if you know this, but Chewbacca uh, comes from a long line of successful Wookiees from the Bacca family, uh, <laughs> you know, from his American footballing brothers, Quarter and Line, uh, his kid <laughs> brother, Piggy, right through to his old granddad, Silver, uh, and his weird auntie, Hunch. Uh, <laughs> He's still going, folks. <laughs> that is unbelievable, Ian. Um, mm -hmm. Unbelievable. Okay. Right there, Julian. Right. Well, before I tell you, my joke, uh, Rob's missed his other cousin who would always let you go behind him on his bike. <laughs> Gizzard Bagger? Then a little bit, you internet, because you went like that, your internet went oh, yeah. as well. So, bad time. Your internet <laughs> said, I'll get it just before the punchline. <laughs> just before the punchline, just try not to move your hands. Just stay still, and it will be fine. Yeah, that's yeah. depressing, that's depressing <laughs> when even your, even your internet thinks, Oh, fuck this shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good. Okay, well, um, keep sending in your jokes. Um, what so Ian can pick out a winner for the sticker, and it's not just for this round, but for all of them. So it's the second round of Star Wars puns. I, I haven't told mine yet. <laughs> I thought you just did it. No, oh. I was just replying to Rob. He was just ripping. <laughs> Go on then. Stop moving. Right. I'm hoping this will live up to it. I think it will. I think it will. Um. Before he was a Jedi Master, I'm going to wait till Rob gets back. I don't want him to miss this. <laughs> Too good to miss this. I too. have no idea where he where he's gone. Actually, so we'll have just to wait. He's missed out. Just do it. Doesn't matter. Uh, oh, I waited for you, Rob. <laughs> I waited for you. Right, really? Uh, That's kind. Yeah. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> what? Uh, before he was a Jedi Master. Yoda, yeah. yeah, before he was a Jedi Master, yeah, yeah, Yoda yeah. was an exotic dancer, as mentioned in that song. I was a male stripper in a Dago bar system. I was a male stripper in a Dago bar system. <laughs> That's great. I was a male stripper in a Dago bar system. 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 Okay. Quit your jibber jabber. Yeah. Uh uh, okay, <laughs> time for the uh, round two. We've got to carry on, boys, because we've got three more topics to do. Uh, David, look. So, yeah, thanks a lot to my dad for thinking of the essence for this one. So, cheers. Um, so, when me and my, my mate were watching Star Wars, I ate an apple and then I was sick. My mate said, Ah, oh, the Empire Strikes Back. Mm. Right, Never. don't ever get any advice from your dad ever again. <laughs> there's an apple, yeah, there's an apple get called it. the there's, an, there's Empire Apples. Never mind. Oh, oh are there? Yeah, yeah, yeah I'm I'm sorry. Never mind. Right. Um, I did I'm, not know that. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's fine. No, it's yeah. fine. It's yeah. what we didn't know. It's not you. You knew it. And we well, learned after, after, after he told me I did. Yeah, Wikipedia. <laughs> All right, Tony, your second one, mate. Well, a lot of people nowadays complain about Disney's over-commercialization of Star Wars. <laughs> uh, but I'll be honest with you, I'm looking forward to their new films about the Red Bull Alliance. <laughs> <laughs> Very Excellent. Good. Okay, uh, Rob. So uh, my friend was a tattoo artist. And once a pair of twins came in wanting matching tattoos on their bottoms. And as a Star Wars fan, I thought, oh, wow, to be there and gaze out on the twin moons of tattooing. Did my internet cut out as well? Sorry. <laughs> I think it did. Do it again. I'm in internet. Right on punchline. Right, Julian. Uh, hey, if you think those Imperial Stormtroopers were bad, wait till you see the metric ones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they'll right. kill a gram, they will. We Brutal. Okay, the last round of Star Wars puns, David. 
Right, I'll try and make up for uh, the last round a bit now with my last one. Um, so my mate Jed, he loves sci-fi, and he recently had a operation which completely fixed his vision. And so we celebrated by watching Return of the Jedi. Yeah. yeah. Welcome yeah. to the Jedi. Yeah. Clever. Yeah. Clever joke, mate. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of clever ones. Yeah. Funny, right. funny, you know. It's touched a nerve, that one. Just. <laughs> yeah. We didn't see coming. Okay, Tony. Well, I was at a pub quiz the other day, and uh, but I couldn't remember what species Chewbacca was, which uh, was a Wookiee error. <laughs> 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 All right, well, that one off me list. Then. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, Julian. Rob. Oh, wasn't sure if we were waiting for Julian to repeat that. Um, I I bought this. I bought a cheap like toy lightsaber, and um, it, it wasn't one of those high spec ones that you can get. And my friend was teasing me. Yeah, it's not one of those high spec ones. It's not one of those. I guess I should have gone to spec sabers. Very good. Very good. Okay. Um, Julian. Um, Darth Vader walked into a record shop and he said to the guy behind the counter, he says, um, have you got George Michael's first album? And the guy goes, I haven't. So Darth Vader gets us in the chokehold and goes, I find your lack of faith disturbing. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Okay, that's the round. Finally over with. It took forever. Star <laughs> Wars, uh, put down who you think deserve to win that round right now. While you do that, let's get Ian back in to read out your joke. Yeah, we've got some great jokes from you guys in there. Just looking for a few of them now. Um, bah, bah, bah. Craig Stainrod, I watched that Star Wars film where Harrison Ford had conjunctivitis. Turn of the red eye. <laughs> <laughs> Loving that one. Um, really like this one. Ian Bowden. How do Jedi's time travel in a Mandalorian? Oh, come on. Oh, oh nice. I nice. nice. got that one. And last one for this round. There's been loads in, but we're just looking for one more. There was a great one. Was it this one? Yes. Peter Cole. Chef. Do you like my battered sardines? Yoda. Superficially. <laughs> Yeah, so not deep down there. <laughs> Brilliant. I love that. Remember, get your votes. I in. love the fact you can just um, swap Yoda for anything. Heavy metal guy, <laughs> supermarket, <Yeah. laughs> Far Eastern character. It's brilliant. Did you did you know by the way, do you know what Yoda's surname is? It's man, man. Isn't it? man. man. Yoda man. Got it. Yoda. Or, or, or you know Yoda Maggio. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Right, we have a winner for that round. It is the one and only Tony Cowards. Hi, Tony. Oh, thank you. Well done, Tony. Okay, we Love are... Star Wars as well, so that means a lot to me. <laughs> we are on to... I love, I love Star Wars. Love it. <laughs> yeah. Live long and prosper, Star Wars fans. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, guys, thank you. We need to push on because... We are only halfway through and we got like 20 minutes to go. So keep your mouths quiet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now, okay, we're gonna do round four now, and that is going to be world leaders. Ooh. World leaders. Right. This time I'm gonna go to Tony as he was the last winner, over to David, up to Julian, and finish with Rob. So, Tony, your first world leader's pun. Uh, here's a bit of advice for you. If you're ever out drinking with Vladimir Putin, don't ask him, what's your poison? <laughs> <laughs> Good. <laughs> well, yeah. All right, then. David. So, apparently, the president of Iraq lives at the top of a tall building. He's a hierarchy. <laughs> <laughs> nice okay julian uh i took the piss out of bill clinton's wife for the brewery last night dissed hillary 
No, it was definitely a brewery. <laughs> 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 Very good, Julian. Quality punnage right there. Okay, over to Rob. Yeah, so a bit of history here. Louis the Sixteenth and Marie Antoinette were guillotined during the French Revolution, but they're actually talking about getting them in like an official pardon so that their relatives can finally hold their heads up high. <laughs> 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 oh, I should have saved this round for the last one. <laughs> okay, then uh, back down to Tony. Oh, David likes that one. Look at him go. Oh, There's no that was, that was great. <laughs> Your head went so far back, it looked like you were sword swallowing the guitar <laughs> neck. That was amazing. Do it again, David. One more time. I know we're out. Look at that. Look at that. That's it. Oh, yeah. Right down there. Amazing. <laughs> <laughs> what a waste in time. Like you wonder why we get 52k views. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, Tony. Uh, well, I, I actually made a jelly of Donald Trump this morning. Now I'm worried that I may have set the dangerous president. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, that's good. <laughs> Imagine it. <laughs> it an orange jelly, wouldn't it? Orange jelly. It'd be amazing. It'd be amazing. <laughs> Uh, okay, David. I was disappointed when I went to see Kings of Leon. It was just about the leaders of a French city. There you go. <laughs> well <done. laughs> so welcome to today's discussion about the uh, previous historical leaders of Leon. We hope you'll have a lovely, lovely time. <laughs> He's got his T-shirt on and everything. It's good, that. Right, okay, uh, Julian. <clears throat> yeah, um, not long before he died, the the Cuban revolution, revolutionary leader joined a band of Muslim extremists and it made us feel sick. I had castroenteritis. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I definitely should have saved this for the end. Oh, yeah. well. Oh, uh, Julian, Julian, you're, you're having a la Havana laugh with that one. Havana, <laughs> yeah. nice. Right, Rob. Yeah, yeah. so um, to keep up with the times, the Israeli Prime Minister has changed his name to Benjamin Netanyahu. Oh, I don't want this round to end. Uh, it is the last round um, for world leaders. Who's going to take the top? I don't know. It's back to Tony. Well, I actually uh, did some gigs the other day for uh, members, minor members of the Saudi royal family. Yeah, it was okay, but no great shakes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, David. <laughs> So, talking of world leaders, some <laughs> actors have even named cities of the world after themselves. As I found out when I visited Rio de Janeiro. Uh, <laughs> de Janeiro. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, Julian. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm just doing any, mini, many more with Stuart Gattel. Right, so many uh, people. People <laughs> worry that uh, Putin is the most dangerous Russian leader of all time, but he's not. The most dangerous was Missile Gorbachev. <laughs> <laughs> He'll go ballistic when he is. Oh yeah, come on, Tony. Hey. Oh, come on. Hey. That's a cracker. Okay, uh, Rob. Yeah, it is me, isn't it? So uh, yeah, Imran Khan. Imran Khan is the uh, Prime Minister of Pakistan. And obviously he was a cricketer and he scored a lot of runs, did Imran Khan. He scored a lot of runs. He scored so many more runs than his less successful brother, Imran Khan. <laughs> <laughs> way more. <laughs> I like the way you did that almost as a poem, Rob. That was great. <laughs> yeah, I had a kind of... Kind of had a haiku scanning to I it, didn't it? Yeah. Thanks. Brought a little bit of culture to the proceedings. Thank you, Tony. Yeah. That means a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, a review of the scansion means a lot to me, Tony. You're, Thank you're you. You're like a modern Pam Ayers. 
<laughs> I thought she was modern. <laughs> actually, is, is Haiku a Far East thing, actually? Like, yeah. Yeah, I did it on purpose. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like weaving it, mind blowing. <laughs> like what? What yeah. have you done? Yeah. Like, Welcome yeah. to the Matrix. Get used to it. <laughs> like, <laughs> this is like the inception of puns. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay, guys. We need to move on with the show. Um, that oh, has sure. been a great round, a wonderful round. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did wish I did it to the end, but doesn't matter now. Right then, let's get Ian back in to read your jokes while he does that. Obviously, start voting now. Yeah, absolutely. There have been some great jokes in this round. Uh, Mark Wilson was one of them. Everyone's got coronavirus in Cuba. It's <laughs> catastrophic. What that's got to do with coronavirus, I'm not sure. Nice. Zachary yeah. Bryant, the leader of North Korea, took a popular Mexican card game and rebranded it as his own. Kim jong Uno. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, another one from Ian Bowden. The wife of Prime Minister of Kazakhstan broke social distancing rules when a relative visited the house. Ask her mammon? No, it was her cousin. <laughs> <laughs> We've all learned something from that one, haven't we? Thank you, Ian. So, uh, while we're getting the boats in, then we'll have another quick video. He gave us a signal. <laughs> There we go. Thank you for that video, Ian. Oh, let me count up. Looks like we've had a late voter in. It was between Julian and Rob, and looks like Rob has took this round. <laughs> well, done. Well, done. well done, Rob. That was a great round, though. Fantastic puns from all of you. Um, right, guys, because we're short for time, this will be the last round, I'm afraid. <sighs> That's only your fault. <laughs> right. So I'm going to get a vote from all of you. It's either supermarkets or... No! Opticians. Opticians. Well, we can't catch Rob anyway, can we? He's well out in the lead. But No, I've only got two. Well, yeah, he's oh, only yeah. got two. And you've got one, three. Tony. I think and I got Julian two. Yeah, I got, got two. One. David could sneak in on this round. Is, he, so, is, Rob, is Rob trying mind tricks, though? Has he actually got loads of really good jokes about supermarkets? <laughs> yeah, the old mind tricks. And the old mind game. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go with opticians. There you go. I've decided. Okay, this is the final round of show 25. Don't forget to donate, guys. I really do mean it. Every penny counts towards the show. Uh, we can pay for the stream. We can pay for these guys down below. Also, if you want to, you can catch the show on a podcast. Yeah, we've got a podcast now. So just search for UK Pun Off Podcast and it will find it on Google or whatever um, stream you're using. And then you can listen back to it, whatever you're doing, driving or whatever. Also, check out my podcast. Anyway, enough of that. Let's <laughs> go to uh, – I think I'm going to go with Julian this time. Over to Rob, down to Tony, finish with David. First opticians, pun please, Julian. Right there. Like I've seen a male optician and I'm seeing a female optician. Does that mean I'm bifocal? <laughs> <laughs> Curious. <laughs> well done. Nice. Thank you, Julian. Um, over to Rob. Yeah, I went to uh, Vision Express and I said, hi, I need some help with my vision. Can you help with my vision? And they said, well, yeah, it's Vision Express. There's one thing we can help you with. It's, it's your vision. And they were right, because by the time I left, I was convinced that one day all the world's, world's children will have the opportunity to attain an excellent education, whatever their economic context. Okay, thank you. Tony Cowards. <laughs> I I drifted off for a second, I think. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry, I'm confused. Right, um, tonic state. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm glad this subject came up because I'm actually writing a book about the history of eye correction. So if anyone's got any contacts, 
<laughs> wow. Very good, very strong. David? Well, speaking of opticians, I said to my mate, this sign says there's a mountain that visually impaired people can climb. He said, no, when it says blind summit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it took me a second. Yeah, works. I'll have to watch the show back or listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> Podcast. Podcasts. Yeah. And listen to myself saying the same thing again. Right. I'm still wondering who status quo are. <laughs> 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 who status quo yeah. are, whatever it is. Oh, yeah. It all went down, down, deeper and down since then. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay. Whatever, whatever. Whatever you want. Whatever. Really, yeah. Second round. Second round. <laughs> right. Well, um, I accidentally went into the opticians when I wanted my chest hair removed. Should have gone to peck shavers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, Rob. Uh, and it's one of those countdown moments. I had peck shavers myself, Julian. So skipping on to my <laughs> other joke. <laughs> Uh, I love westerns. I love a good western. And my favourite director is that guy who has fantastic eyesight if he's looking to the west, but awful if he's looking the other way. It's Squint Eastward. <laughs> and by the way, when it, when, it came, when it came to buying sunglasses, when it came to buying sunglasses, he had three categories, the good, the bad, and the Oakleys. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely a car sticker coming to you, my friend. Love that. Okay, Tony. Uh, actually, before the show, I was on uh, eBay and someone's selling a rare pair of uh, bifocals, which I've got half an eye on. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Wow. Very good. Strong pun there. Okay. Uh, David. I went into this opticians and it was run by a crappy pop band. That's the last time I go to Vision S Express. Great joke. All right, this is the last, the last round and the last pun for the tonight's show. Right, it's opticians. Let's see what they have. Uh, Julian. Um, I came on my girlfriend's face. <laughs> well, Whilst reading J.D. Salinger, catch you in the rye? No, she was wearing her glasses. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, it's the... He might have saved his best no. joke of the night until the very end. <laughs> yeah, the uh, Rob, you're not it's, getting it anymore. Just, <laughs> no, she was wearing her glasses. It's just the casualness. She was wearing her glasses. So that's the reason. Oh. It's lovely. Uh, so I had an eye problem. Everywhere I looked, I could see like computer mice, keyboards, and printers. Turns out I had a problem with my peripheral vision. To the side. Tell me. Um, before I do my joke, actually, I just want to say to people, I'm going to tell this one twice, right? <laughs> I want to know whether it's better with or better without. Sorry, I was, I was struggling to focus. Hang on, that, that, that wasn't my joke. Don't great, don't judge me on that one. <laughs> uh, I actually, uh, funny enough, ages ago, I actually met the uh, man who invented Braille. Yeah, he was a bit touchy feely. <laughs> uh -huh. Very good. Very good. That is good. Okay, David Locke, the last pun of the show for tonight. Oh wow. Okay. <laughs> I saw this famous actor called Nigel trying to find an optician i said are you looking for specs havers <laughs> <laughs> just when you thought you'd heard them all <laughs> <laughs> along comes nigel havers to save the day right, nice well okay there we go and that has been all of the rounds and now who's gonna win it i don't know it's one all at the moment but maybe david will get this round we'll see We'll see. Okay, yeah, let's get Ian back in some of your jokes. And don't yeah, you've been sending them in. Thank you very much, guys. As usual, Ben Emmett, I once saw a great magic trick with a balloon and a feather. It was a pop-tickle illusion. 
Mm. That one, nice Zachary one. Bryant, my optician said he made an alien. <laughs> he made first contact. <laughs> Steve Thompson went to an optician's, which had posters of Britpop bands. Couldn't focus on the first, and the second one vanished. Might have been Blur and Oasis. <laughs> I like that. Um, we've got another couple, and then remember, vote now. Listen to podcasts, buy mugs, donate, the whole shebang. Um, Eamon Goodfellow, I nearly drifted into a glaucoma <laughs> in this round. <laughs> Thank you for support, Eamon. Nice. Um, Get any cornea. You <laughs> Janus. My optician told me I was colorblind today. That came right out of the purple. <laughs> I like that. I like that one. I'm glad that everyone uh, last this round week. in good vitreous humor, though. <laughs> Technical, nice. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Peter Cole, last joke <laughs> of this round and of the night. Uh, bought glasses which claim to help me see ghosts, but they didn't work. Should have gone to Spectre <laughs> Savers. <laughs> Just keeps giving. <laughs> The topic that keeps on okay getting. thank you ian right we have a winner Woo. um and that winner of that round is julian Woo. play jail well, we have a problem houston uh hey. two winners at the at the moment Ooh. there are two winners it is actually between rob and julian at the moment, uh, you got two apiece. So, is it both of you won? I don't know. I'm not going to go into another round because we got a minute to go to the show. So, two winners. Well done, <laughs> Robert. Two winners. Jim. Double vision. Double vision. Yay! Well, I thought uh, all of you were great, especially Tony and David. Guys, just before we finish, do you have anything you want to say, Tony? Anything you want to plug? Um. Only Twitter, look me up on Twitter, at Tony Coward, see what I'm up to. A few gigs are starting to come back, so you might have an opportunity to see me live somewhere, as long as there's not more than six of you. <laughs> <laughs> on a table. There we go. Yeah. Okay, uh, thank you, Tony. Uh, David? Yeah, so uh, every Sunday night at 9pm, including tonight, uh, me and a good mate of mine, Steve Henn, we, brought, we stream a music show where we play great rock music uh, it streams on facebook youtube twitch um and this week it's uh beatles around the bush so six beatles songs and six kate bush songs so yeah cheers okay mate thank you very much rob julian do you have anything you want to say i've got my first gig back after lockdown third of october at the left bank in leeds with uh, joe enright delisa chaponda a couple of others looking forward to that um but yeah check the twitter handle for more info cool Julian. Uh, yeah, I've got, just had my first gig booked back uh, for the 16th of October in the Steam in Metropolis that is Middlesbrough. That's October the 16th. But uh, I'm still putting stuff on my YouTube channel. So youtube.com forward slash C forward slash Julian Lee Comedy. Please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you. And here's our lovely Ian. Yeah, uh, just a couple of things. Oh, definitely remember to look out at the podcast for us, wherever you get your podcast, UK pun off. It was a bit of a rush show tonight. We weren't able to get all of the jokes out, but you never know, you might get a little bit of bonus features if you look into the podcast UK pun off and get some of the jokes that weren't read out on the show. But also the winner of the car bumper sticker for this Oh, week, yes. Who is it? He sent in three cracking jokes, had me howling backstage. <laughs> was Ian Bowden. Ian, Ian, if you want to send us your address, we'll get a car sticker off to you and loads of pizza delivery. <laughs> yeah. Well done. Thank you. Well done to Ian for winning joke of the show. Um, thanks to these guys, all of these guys here. We are back next week. That's the 27th of September. We have Phil Padgett and Erica Etting joining us all the way from the United States. Good. So make sure you tune in for that. Other than that, yeah, check out our podcast. Don't forget, if you want a mug, £7.50, let us know. And if you got any change, that would be lovely too. Yeah, please do donate. Like I said, it really does help with the show, and we can pay the guys below. All right, thank you. I've been loved it. I'll pay again. This has been show 25. Good night. Woo! Now